If you are half a glass full type of person, you know there's plenty of summer left. But if you're running short of ideas, stay tuned because whether you're an adventure seeker or nature lover, foodie, foodie or history buff, there's plenty to see and do right here in the Badger State. That's true. Joining us now is Chelsea Lewis. She's a writer for Wisconsin Trails, which is now a completely online resource for everything Wisconsin. Thanks for being back. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Great to see 100 you. things to do in Wisconsin. You can find a whole list on your on your website? Yes, 100 things. You can never be bored. Yeah, like that. no excuses. And mm -mm. there is still plenty of summer left to explore Wisconsin because it's just a drive away, a right. short drive away, most of the things that you're talking about. So what are some suggestions that you have for people who want to get outside and see the outdoors? Uh, well, one thing I really love is uh, the lower Wisconsin River. Um, it's out in western Wisconsin and um, southwest of Portage area. It's really shallow. So there are a lot of sandbars that pop up and you can actually camp on the sandbars. You don't need a reservation. You don't, you know, it's completely free. So it's an easy pick up on a weekend, go out there, rent a canoe and head down the river. It's a lot of fun. So fun. Kayaking the Apostle Islands, hiking the Ice Age Trail. Yeah, all Those great. are neat things too. I mean, you see people kayaking all the time down the river here, but this is the Apostle Islands. Yeah, the Apostle Islands are a really great um, national lakeshore up in northern Wisconsin, kind of in the Bay Big, and there are 22 of them. So you can kayak between them, camp on them. Um, one thing I would say, if, if you're going to go, definitely go with a guide. Even if you think you're experienced, Lake Superior can be a little unpredictable, mm -hmm. so you want to be safe. And um, yes. I was just up there in the end of, at the end of June, and it was absolutely gorgeous. You know, the water was a little chilly, but you throw in a wetsuit, and it's no problem. Exactly. Tiff has a wetsuit. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, what about the food lover? Because there's Wallersheim Winery, for example. Um, it, it, that's a great place for people to go and see yeah. the winemaking process, have a chance to sample it. Definitely. You know, I always call Wallersheim kind of a little slice of Napa Valley here in Wisconsin in the Prairie du Sac area, so kind of northwest of Madison, only about an hour and a half drive from Milwaukee, so pretty close. Um, beautiful vineyard there, tons of fantastic wines, a lot of them made from the grapes they grow on site, and then this year actually they started making brandy too, so Whoa. nice yes. Wisconsin treat. And I'm glad you mentioned the apple pie from Elegant Farmer. Oh, it's yeah. unbelievable. Love because they it. make it in the brown bag. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. I've never had this. Oh, I've never oh, heard of it. No. Oh, it's amazing. So good. Yeah, Elegant Farmer down in uh, East Troy. Fantastic. Probably the best apple pie I've ever had. And they do ship them, so you can get them frozen and shipped, but they're best when they're fresh. I so believe it. Head down yeah. there. I have heard of the Dora County fish boil, though. I've heard that's they're pretty great. amazing. A great family thing to see yeah, and do, too. Definitely. It's like a spectacle. You know, you get a meal, but you also get a nice performance. Um, they throw the fish into this open pit fire. It kind of boils up into this huge fire, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. What about historical sites? Yeah, there's a lot of great historical sites across the state. Um, one really cool one out in Mineral Point is called Pendarvis. Um, it's actually kind of pays homage to our mining past. So there are these old um, Cornish buildings there. And you know when you hear the nickname Badger, you know that's mm -hmm. not actually the animal, the badger, but it has to do with the miners because they would um, stay in these kind of dug out holes in the hillside. And so they looked like badgers because they were kind of sticking out of these caves on the <laughs> side of the hill. I have never heard yeah, that before so that's either. that's actually where the nickname comes from. So you really? can go learn more about it in Pendarvis. That's super that's cool. cool. Old World Wisconsin. Yeah, Old World Wisconsin is great. I think a lot of people associate that with like school field trips, mm -hmm. but it is a really great family, a, a place to take your family. They have activities and events going on all the time every weekend. A lot of interactive stuff to do with your kids. It's a lot of fun. And where's the Maritime Museum, the Wisconsin Maritime Museum? Yeah, that's just up in Manitowoc. So, okay. Um, there used to be, a, or there still is, kind of a, sh a big shipbuilding industry in Manitowoc, and they actually have an old um, submarine there, the USS Cobia, that you can tour and walk through. It's a really cool um, museum that pays homage to our uh, maritime past. Yeah. Cool. yeah. What are some things that top your list? Oh, um, I really love... Um, well, here in uh, the the Great River Road is really great out in western Wisconsin. Um, mm -hmm. That's actually a really great fall trip too. So even though we're nearing the end of summer, oh, see the yeah. leaves changing. Yeah, the leaves okay. changing. And this year they're celebrating their 75th anniversary. So there's different activities oh. along the road. It follows the Mississippi River all the way down to the Mississippi, but in Wisconsin or to the. Uh, Gulf of Mexico, but in Wisconsin, there are a lot of great little towns and stops along the way. My parents used to have a small house in Baraboo, too, oh, and there's yeah. something there that you really like, yeah. right? Baraboo, which is near the Wisconsin Dells, for exactly. people who aren't familiar with that. Yep, just on the other side of the freeway is the International Crane Foundation. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I've seen that. So it's the only place in the world you can see all 15 species of cranes. Wow. It's really cool. I mean, these are just beautiful, majestic birds. They have the whooping cranes there, which are an endangered species that they're working to bring back. Really cool place 
place to go see cranes and another family, a really great family activity. That's it's awesome. Wonderful. There are a hundred things to see and do in mm -hmm. Wisconsin. You should challenge yourself to do all of them before <laughs> school starts. How about that? Before get September. In the car. Yeah. Yeah. But if you want to get the full list of those things, you should go online. You can re read Wisconsin Trails there. It's wisconsintrails.com. That full list again online there. You can visit to see some great photographs as well. Good stuff. Thanks yeah. for nice being here. Nice to see you Thanks again. Thank me. you.